Hey guys, just want to do a quick video uh, update on this 85 Chevrolet C10. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank Rita, oh, I'm sorry, Primer is best and his wife. I apologize for putting the name out there, but uh, they came over today and helped me spray this thing. You can see the tailgate's still a little wet. I just got it on there. I had to do just a little bit of work on it, not much, but anyway, it turned out pretty good. This is just some Krylon rattle can paint. I've never painted an entire truck with rattle can paint, but I've watched Primer his best do it. And I thought, why not? Kind of in a time crunch. I don't have my air compressor hooked up yet. Uh, as I said, I've just, garage is still kind of a work in progress. I'm having some trouble finding somebody to close it in for me. And, uh, I'll do the electrical myself. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. A lot of other things going on, but I need to find a tag for the front and uh, clean the truck up. I just kind of wipe the wheels off, shine the tires. It needs cleaned up inside and out. But I have took the motor apart. I redone one of the heads. It had a bad valve. Uh, put a distributor in it. Got rid of the computerized distributor and uh, put another carburetor on it. Had a computerized quadrant yet. If anybody's ever fooled with them, uh, they're garbage. I hate them. But anyway, and this truck's still drying, so. It's still a little wet. I put it all back together and the paint's real soft on it. But again, I'm in a time crunch. I've been blessed. I've been off work. Uh, they've been paying me just like I'm there. So I've been able to get some things done, but I got a call the other day. I had to be back Monday. So Rod runs this coming weekend. I hate this bumper. I'm still still thinking about changing that. Primer his best has one. He says I could get from him. I just get him another one back. And uh, I may do that. That bumper looks awful. But uh, anyway, like I said, the old paint turned out pretty decent. I mean, it's not a show truck by any means, but it's one color. Uh, you know, it's got a good shop truck look to it. And I don't know, I'm kind of liking it. I had, I had my mind dead set on painting the truck red. If I brought it back from rod run, just taking it back down to metal and, uh, you know, doing, doing the body work and stuff on it right, making it slick, but, uh, I don't know. I kind of like it like this. Uh, I'm gonna. I may put the trim on it. I don't know. I put those pieces on it just in case I decided to. I can spin that nut right off that thing. It's no big deal. But anyway, I don't know. Uh, it's pretty well ready to go now. Also, I put a uh, air conditioner compressor on. I got the AC working good. Uh, I had Jimmy over at uh, Jimmy's Pro Muffler put exhaust all the way back, True Duels, uh, and I put the like the Chinese knockoff Flowmasters on it. But uh, they're about, not hardly half the price of a real Flowmaster, but I think the, they were $84. The Flowmasters was, were $139 uh, or something. So around about half the price. But anyway, this is it. I'll uh, start it up so you can hear these mufflers in case, like I said, the inside's really dirty. I gotta clean all this up. I may put a seat cover on it, I don't know yet. It's been sitting there a little while. It's got a belt squealing out there, but... But anyway, just a few things, like I said, a few things I need to button down on it and uh, get straightened out, but it's came a long ways in less than two weeks. It was sitting over here with a bunch of garbage piled up in the back of it. And I don't know how long it had sat in Chattanooga, but uh, it's turned out pretty decent. Like I said, for something where I was really in a time crunch and just kind of throwing stuff together, it's came a long way. Now, if you want to do your truck like this, I think I've probably got, uh, Lord, I don't know, I'm going to guess $2,500. And that's the lowering kit, the exhaust, the wheels, uh, AC compressor, and then the parts for the head. Of course, I've done all this work, but you could leave rallies on it steel wheels whatever they look just as cool and uh, save yourself a lot of money and like I said it's something you can jump in uh, run to the store run to town go to a cruise in or something if you wanted to I don't know uh, you don't have to have a ton of money to fool with these old things now if you want to do one right you know that's the thing I could have stripped this truck down to metal and done the body work and painted it and but you know then I'm gonna have probably a hundred hours in painting it uh, you know to do one right it, it's it's a lot of work 
people don't realize how much work is in painting one. I hate it. I cannot stand painting one anymore. Uh, it's labor intensive for sure, but like I said, this will work for me. Again, I may do some kind of, maybe some kind of auto parts thing on the door and some kind of maybe deliver express delivery or something down the bed. Maybe a phone number or something on the, on the top of the fender. I don't know. Just something. Uh, I just have to sit down and think about it. Now, I hate these mirrors. I put new mirrors on it. I hate those mirrors, but uh, again, if it wasn't for the time crunch, I'd have went ahead and filled the holes in and re-drilled them and put the little sport mirrors on it. It would have looked a lot better, but hey, they'll work. Uh, it looks better than a bunch of holes or, you know, no mirror at all. Or what I had, which was just dented up and corroded. Just looked awful, but anyways, here it is. Uh, I'm going to clean it up. I may change the bumper, possibly. Like I said, I've only got tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And I'll probably leave out Friday morning. But then again, I may leave out Thursday morning. So uh, it's right here on me. I don't know how much further I'm going to go with it before I take it up there. But if it comes back, I'll definitely be doing some more work to it. This is a 78. This is my dad's truck. This is a nice truck. Uh, it's a big block, 454, 400 turbo. It's got pretty slick paint on it real solid old truck and it looks good i mean somebody had fixed this truck and uh somebody fixed the truck and then the guy bought it from him and he took the motor and stuff out i have no idea why he put it in something else old truck's a little dirty i gotta clean it up but stock uh, it's not really been fooled with uh, other than the big block it was original small block truck uh we got a box truck and dad put the big block and stuff hang on a second Dad put the big block and stuff out of the box truck in it. And uh, man, this old motor is really strong. We've got all the air conditioner stuff. We just don't have the brackets to hook it up yet. Uh, it is all here. And this truck's for sale. Uh, I believe he said we're going to ask probably eight for it. But if somebody was real serious, had cash money, 65 would buy the truck. Uh, and that's, that's it on it. It's not going to go anywhere for any less. Like I said, it's a lot of truck for the money. And it's a nice truck. It's not, you know, it's not been thrown together. Whoever fixed the truck put a lot of time and money in it. And, uh, you know, for that kind of money, these little square bodies, you just can't get much anymore. Now, it's got some scratches and stuff here and there. It's not perfect. Uh, but it'd be a heck of an old driver. Or, if you wanted to buy the lower and kit in the wheels, set it up like this one, that thing would be a baby doll. It'd be a knockout. It would put this one to shame. But uh, anyways, like I said, this is it. And I will try to do a video after it's cleaned up and stuff. And before I take it to the rod run and let you know if I do anything else to it. Y'all have a good one.